Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today is very exciting because we are starting a new series on our channel called Design Within Reach. It's kind of a spin off of Open Door AD. If you've seen those videos, they tour celebrities' homes and their mansions. But I am really interested in seeing your everyday people and their homes and I want to show you guys that you can have a beautiful home that is magazine worthy without breaking the bank. So we are starting today with our dear friend Wendy. She is truly an artist in every aspect of her life. So honestly that's it and we're gonna jump right in and let's see what Wendy's up to. <laughs> She's totally not expecting us coming in right now. Wendy is a huge, has been a, played a huge part in my venture into like the design world and interior. She taught my mom and I how to thrift and how to source pieces. So it really like all started with Wendy's like her passion Aww. for this and it kind of like got infused into me. So that's why it's so important. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're starting with Wendy. Oh, okay. Tell us a little bit about this room and your favorite pieces. And uh, Well, nothing is perfect in my house after I wipe off my tears. Um, I don't know, everything is thrifted, um, like you said. Um, I, I don't know if I have a favorite piece in this room, Al although this Mara I, I have had in my life for probably, I don't know, like 15 years and I've never tired from that. I love it broken up, I don't really like anything new looking, you know, mm -hmm. I like the, the charm of the warm and, and worn out. <laughs> <laughs> I crave to thrift, I, I have to thrift at least once a week. <laughs> oh. So what are your, tell me about some of your favorite thrift finds, <clears throat> favorite deals that you've gotten, if you remember. So these two sconces I got um, at Habitat for Humanity for $15 each, and they're like a $300 sconce. Mira, my favorite one, $6 10 years ago. My pedestal, love it, $2.99. Ooh. That's like old school prices. That's amazing. This chair here is a $1,400 chair I got for $30. This I got for $50 at Salvation Army. Um, my son Josh thrifted this at Made in the Shade for I think $40, $40. Um, this is Made in the Shade. I think I paid $20 for that. Wow. And when you know what your style is and when you see something that is you, your style, you just you just grab it. You, mm. you just know. Like for example, this little guy here, got him a long time ago at Salvation Army. When I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh! I just grabbed it, and then I continue looking. You mm -hmm. know what your style is. But when you say to people who like figure feel like they haven't figured out their style yet, how would you like suggest that they get started? Um, trust your gut. Be patient with yourself, and it's very hard to be yourself in this day and age because you have a lot of friends who you like their style. So you walk into their house and you're like, yes, I love this. And then you kind of try to emulate that, not knowing, you're just inspired by people, but trust your gut and be truly who you are. Is there anything else in this room that you wanna Yes, yeah, this big dog bed. <laughs> this big dog bed where we love Wyatt. You'll meet him, I think, soon. <laughs> Normally, you know, I wouldn't love this big dog bed, mm -hmm. but because I love him, we have a dog bed. Aww. And he has his little ducky. All right, let's move on to the next room. Excellent. So we just entered your living room. Why don't you just share a bit about your inspiration for this space? Um, okay, I, I don't know. I like a, a, a tone on tone palette and I try to do pops of color. What do you mean by tone on tone for people who don't? Tone on tone, like my, my Belgian linen couch is my very first brand new couch that I bought, I don't know, 15 years ago from Restoration Hardware. It has lasted beautifully. The kids were not allowed to eat food on it for, <laughs> for all their lives. Um, so tone on tone, like, you know, the couch is the same color as my throw, basically as the wall, my cement little things there yeah. on the corner there, and my cowhide rug that was black, but all the years of vacuuming, it became hairless, and I love the color. Mm. So kind of tone on tone like that. My, my dog just came with my husband. Where's Wyatt? Which oh, one's the dog? Oh, here he is. <laughs> he is Wyatt. Aww. He's a good boy. Good boy. Does he attack people a lot? Never. <laughs> 
So, so that's tone on tone. And then my pops of color now are, I guess, my, my warm leather pieces. Mm -hmm. I love black and white, and my, my artwork is, is black and white, but I, I really like to wear things up. People have asked why I do black and white art. I, I don't know how to answer that. I guess it's just in me. It's, yeah. it's what I think looks pretty. Yeah. You know, and um, I've tried to do color. And I love other people's colored art. Mm -hmm. You know, I love it, but I can't live with it in my home. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, I just do black and white. Yeah. I see some of your art pieces in here. Mm -hmm. And I want you to talk a bit about your art. Um, a lot of the artwork in my home is for sale. This was like one of my very first pieces about 12 years ago. My husband, Robert, is an artist as well. He, he's like, I'm an abstract artist, as you can tell. He is a Monet detailed type artist which is that's incredible he did that i don't know 20 something years ago do you have a name for these yes always it's called lamb because it um it looks kind of fluffy like a lamb this is Babel. i love asking my family and friends to what what they see as a name uh -huh. and my brother todd said you know like the tower of Babel. no the tower of Babel. yeah, yeah, the yeah, tower of yeah. Babel. <laughs> clear <laughs> yes the tower of Babel. <laughs> Also, this chair looks familiar to me. Yes, at your wedding. Yes. Yeah, yes. We sat in these um, when we were listening to the speeches, mm. which Wendy's son, Josh, is Andrew's yeah. childhood best friend. He gave a speech, so maybe I'll put a little photo here of that. It was Cute. so sweet. So I have so many memories sitting around this dining table with all the snacks and candy at our <laughs> game nights as kids. Mm -hmm. um, so this is special to me, but I want to hear what, what's special to you about this room. Well, years ago, the Lord did tell Robert and I that we would have large gatherings. And at that time, Josh and Rachel were young and then teenagers, but it's made out of um, barn wood. Wow. Barn wood. And, 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 I, and I love the age. I love when it gets I older. I love it. I love these sconces. I want you to tell me where did you get these sconces? I got these at Made in the Shade, which is an antique shop that's local to us. Yep. And they they just had like the flop the flower. They didn't have the backing or the cord. And um, so I just made them into plugins. You have to be creative, right? Because you saw these and they were just kind of like a floral decor piece. Yeah. And you just had the um, the intuition to be like, oh wait, this would make a beautiful Scots. Yes. And, and these, these I was thrifting with Deb, oh. Andrew's sister, um, at, a, at a flea market. But I, I just said, oh my gosh, they're wood circles. And I love circles. Mm -hmm. so I, I, I have a lot of circles in my house. And I'm thinking, okay, I need to break all the circles, but I love them. This is a piece of art that is close to my heart. When I started taking my art seriously, like two years ago, this was one of the first pieces from that era. I mean, I've always been painting, but this is like a two year season of really painting. Mm. Yeah. I love it. So now, can you tell people, cause we're gonna see more of your art throughout the house, but how do they find you? My Instagram is wendy.jane.thomas. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where I've been posting all my art. All right, so you know where to find her. <sighs> Um, I'm addicted to dishes and glassware mm -hmm. and smalls. And I love having objects that remind me of people. Like th this is Bridget in a bowl. This reminds me of Bridget. It looks like Bridget. It's beautiful and just looks like Bridget. And so there, so then I'll pray. I'll pray for basically your marriage because mm -hmm. that's what I kind of pray for people. But I love having objects that remind you of someone and that you can pray for them. And I've had quite a few of that in, in, in my life, in, in around my home. Well, talk about your open shows. Like when you, you put these shelves in yourself? Yes, well, Robert and I did. Everyone was doing and is still doing, you know, the beautiful wood with the, with the brass, but I just couldn't do it at the time. Uh, I think Rachel was getting married, so things were a little tight. And I just said, you know what? I said, Lord, show me what I can do that that I'll love and that I won't see, that won't, you know, bother me. So I just painted it all unified. I love the color and the feel of this. Th this I probably purchased from Pottery Barn like 
25, 30 years ago. If you're buying pieces you love, mm -hmm. like truly love, mm -hmm. that are you, like you're yes. talking about, yes. then you should be seeing them in your home like 20 years yes. later. Yes. So I love yep. that. Thank you. Every every piece in your home should have a story. It should, and it should be a good story. Mm. If it's not a good story, out it goes. Yeah. Out. Get rid of it. <laughs> and I also want you to share about your curtains. These are made out of drop cloths. I made a new set for Robert's office. Um, and this color drop cloth isn't always easy to get because um, Lowe's and Home Depot, they don't um, they don't have them anymore, but um, Harbor Freight does. And, and I have to say, I love my mo modern art, not just mine, but modern art next, the, the mix. As, yes. as we all like the mix. Yes. yes. New and old. Yes. I love it. I got this in the trash at Made in the Shade. Had it forever, okay? And see all this? Th that was all up here, and it was breaking. And, and so I, I had to rest on it. I had to say, okay, where do I want to put this? What do I want to do? And I said, oh, I'm just going to chip it all off because it was half chipped anyway. And I, I, I adore it. Amazing. I adore it. Thank you. I love it. I love coming up here because coming up here it's like cozy chaos yeah. where I don't have to have it looking perfect. Not that I have my downstairs looking perfect, but when things are out of place, I kind of get like it's not good for my head. Like yeah. I, because I, I like things in place, yeah. but I also like this, and this this is kind of like rest. Yeah. Like I come here and I'll look and I'll get creative, talk to the Lord, and it doesn't have to be me. What do you hope people like take away from? This like showing them your home and your approach to designing your home. What what is one thing that you want them to take away? Um, I think that oh my gosh, I want to cry. It's Aww. so weird. <laughs> oh wait, this is weird. <laughs> okay, we can cut. <laughs> um, just that. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Do what you love. Be who you are. And I know that, you know, be you. Like, you know, in the day and age that we're living in now, it's like, you know, be you, boo. <laughs> you know, that's weird. But just truly do what's in your heart because because that's who you are. And if, you, if you're if you doing any other version, that's not who you are. Mm -hmm. This has been such a treat. And I'm so glad we started with your home because... Okay. I truly could not think of a better person to start with, Thank with you. your mindset and how you approach decorating your home. And I think, let me know, <laughs> let us know <laughs> oh, what you guys think. And if yes. you want to see more of these tours, yes. and I would love to hear in the comments about your favorite moments in Wendy's home. Mm -hmm. um, and also a reminder, like a lot of her art that's in her home is for sale. And if you want to see more, you can follow her on Instagram at Wendy jane dot thomas. thomas okay we'll put it here so they can see um and she also does commission pieces too so mm -hmm. anyways yay yeah. is that it yeah i i don't want it to stop but i guess so Aww. i love this yay Thank you. i love you i love you too <laughs> chop to zori <laughs> Woo. i know this is gonna sound weird but do not um do not study my feet, but I like that I'm barefoot. <laughs>